In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a zombie game. This zombie game goes like this. You move using the WSAD keys, shoot using space, and you try to stay alive and kill as many zombies as possible. And right now if I die, you can see I just get more bloody and bloody and bloody until I die. And so that's the zombie game. We're going to be creating that. So first what you're going to have to do is, I'll link this somewhere, but if you go to my profile, um, I have... Um, I have a project called Zombie Game Assets, and um, I'll link it somewhere, but if you click on this right up here, you can remix it. Now, I can't remix it because I'm on my own on my own profile, so I'll just have to create, I'll just save it as a copy. But if you need to, you need to remix it. So I'm gonna save this as a copy. Call it Zombie Game. Next, what we need to program is the movement script. So when the green flag is clicked, forever, point towards the mouse pointer to go like this and if the W key is pressed so if the W key is pressed which is W all the way at the end go up so change Y by 4 duplicate this now if the S key is pressed go down, so change Y by negative four. Duplicate this entire thing, change the change Y's for change X's. And if the D key is pressed, go right. And if the A key is pressed, go left. So now that you should have a uh, working player movement system. Now, at the beginning, we need to center it, and now it should be good. Next, we need to do the bullets. So, when green flag clicked, forever, a new loop, We need to check if the space key is pressed. And if the space key is pressed, fire a shot. So if key space pressed, create a clone of the bullets, because all the bullets are going to be clones. So create clone of bullets. And start the sound, gunshot. And then wait 0 0.2 seconds. Now, right now, this won't really do anything. You'll just shoot and nothing will happen. But if you notice, I have a little scratch out add-ons clone counter, it will show. But nothing's happening to the bullets. So, next, to program the bullets, since the original bullet sprite is gonna be hidden, we need to hide it. And when the bullet starts at a clone, first it's going to go to the player, because it's going to start at this little gun. So it's going to go to the player. Go to player. So then we need to show the bullet, because it needs to show, because the original one was hidden. And also point in the direction of the player, because it's going to be shooting from the player. So point in direction the sensing. This is a special block. You can get almost any value out of the other 
sprites. So player, direction. And then it's gonna move forward until it touches something. So it's gonna move forward until it touches a zombie and it hits the zombie. So until it touches the zombie or it just hits the edge. And it's just gonna move forward in the direction, so just move 10 steps. And at the very end, delete the clone. So now, it should have a player firing shots. And we don't have the zombies yet, but we're gonna add that in the next tutorial. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see it soon.